welcome what's going on everybody we're gonna get right into this because we have a guest joining us tonight all the way across over in uh london so uh he is up extra late for this tonight so first and foremost i've been applauding him all all day long but we have to send him just a may there's endless amounts of applause to ian for staying up late and participating with us tonight and we can cut him some slack if he's a little sleepy Yes, he does get a pass. Um, so uh, before we uh, bring in the players and everything, obviously, we just want to do the quick introduction. Uh, this is round three of Rotten Tomatoes, the card game. Uh, this is going to determine the third player uh, for the finals. And then following this next month is going to be Rotten Redemption, where we bring back four players from previous rounds. It won't be this round. So whoever loses, uh, and I didn't tell anyone this, whoever loses in this round, Sorry, you're done. You're done. You're, done. <laughs> you're too fresh. So, uh, but players from previous rounds, they will come back for one last chance to uh, end up in the finals for Rotten Tomatoes. So that's going to be next month in May, Rotten Redemption, and then the finals will be in June. So we gotta we gotta determine who's going to be that third player tonight. Joining Phil and Tracy from rounds one and two, we gotta. We don't have just one, two, or three players, or four players. No, 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 no. We went all 20. out. We have five. We have five <laughs> players. Yes, we have five players tonight. All various kinds of knowledge and everything. They all bring something to the table when it comes to movies. So that's really cool. Got a real wide spectrum going on tonight. So let us uh, bring them in in the playing order that was established when we uh, had the group chat going. So let me bring this in. There we go. Perfect. All right. So the first player in tonight is the guy that I was just congratulating and applauding and saying endless thanks to. He's been on the channel once or twice or three times before, and it is Ian Nathan. Hey, guys. How's it going? Oh. How's it going over there in daylight? Oh. You know? <laughs> well, what's so weird is it kind of looks like daylight shining on you, but I guess that's a light, huh? It's just a light. Yeah, just a kind of... <laughs> Spooky light to give me some atmospherics. So, Ian, I uh, again thank you for you know staying up late to do this. And uh, since we last had you on, I think it was the T two watch along. I think that was the last time we had you on. Yeah, I think so. I think we so. Yeah, with uh, Jeff Don and Durant Cinema and all that stuff. Since then, because even then you had, I think in your little bio, you had Aliens Expanded, and that was a vague kind of idea to me. Now. This yeah, thing yeah. is like literally full steam ahead. And uh, I picked up the Blu-ray. I, I had to get that Blu-ray uh, because if you want to share the big kind of name that you were able to get for the documentary. Yeah, it's it's, it's our four hour long exploration of Aliens, the, the great James Cameron sequel. And just, you know, not just how it was made, but why we love it. You know, it, it pulls it in all sorts of different directions. I've interviewed every Marine. We've got Paul Reiser. We did 90 minutes with James Cameron talking us back through, you know, the good and the bad of shooting that movie in yep. Pinewood and great stories. Uh, but it's, 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 a, it's a passion project about passion. It's all about why we love the movie. And um, I hope you enjoy it when you get it. You have to let me know what you think. Absolutely. Absolutely. When I saw that, because you were doing a countdown, three, two, one every day, and I was like, okay, I, I, in the back of my head, I was thinking, okay, cool, Sigourney Weaver. And not that Sigourney Weaver isn't still missed. She's very missed. But when you dropped that you got James Cameron for the documentary, I think we all just, like, our heads exploded. At least mine did. I don't know, personally. Well, mine um, did. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, but you've interviewed him before for the book, right? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. I've uh, interviewed him a, few, yeah, a couple of times before. He was very – what was interesting this time was that he was in a very good mood. Not that he's not been in a good mood, <laughs> but he was – very funny. He's a, he's almost the comedy act of the of the the whole documentary. He's very charming and and sort of recalls his younger self like a different person. You know, it wasn't very diplomatic back then, but um, and he really gets into it. You know, he he loves. He's a geek at heart in his own way, and he loves talking about films and the alien universe. And he just really gets into it. It's great. 
Sweet. I love it. I love it. So please, if anyone is uh, interested, I do have the uh, the website to Aliens Expanded linked down below if you want to check it out. If you feel like you want to support it, there's a bunch of different tiers that you can pick up. And uh, I picked up the Blu-ray tier. Like you get a, a Blu-ray and a, and a patch and a certificate and all the all, all these goodies. All the goodies. So uh, definitely worth it. So Ian, thank you for being here. Can't wait Pleasure. to see if you take it home or if player two takes it home. And speaking of James Cameron, uh, she is a gigantic fan of one of his films in particular. She's not so much the other movies that she's seen of his, and she'll comment on that, I'm sure. But uh, Titanic, she has a uh, podcast that is wrapping up here uh, in the next, uh, I think, month That's or crazy. so. And it is. She's coming back to the channel, Brittany Butler. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yes, yes, Ian, it was incredible hearing what you just said. <laughs> yeah. I, tell you, I tell you what was amazing. Where they interviewed, where I interviewed him was at Lightstorm in LA. Mm -hmm. And it's where he stored all his models and all his props. Yep. Right behind me, I was interviewing with was the original model of the Titanic. Mm -hmm. You know, they've done it all up again. It's, I mean, it's huge. Obviously, not as big as the boat, but just this beautiful, perfect model. It's me, well, my phone is taking pictures of it. <laughs> it's just fantastic. I can't imagine. But uh, Brittany, when is uh, for for anyone that's curious, when is the podcast officially wrapping? Do you have a date yet or no? Um, there's been some unforeseen stuff happening right now, so we have to our very final episode. Our recording had to be pushed back. Um, but I was hoping that both would be our final two scenes would be able to be posted in April, but that's probably not going to happen. Um, but so we're probably looking at May though. So okay. beautiful, yeah. beautiful. It's a, it's a phenomenal podcast. It's literally called scene by scene. And cause you literally go scene by scene through the whole film, dissecting it. And you've had guests on from the film and, and, uh, it's, it's, it's just been a pleasure to listen to and, uh, very you, sad. You were on an episode. I was on, but, you I mean, were. but who cares? But like, <laughs> like, it's very sad that it's coming to an end, but you and Ethan are probably in talks of continuing on past Pastor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we have a whole other podcast uh in the works as well. <laughs> we need bonus features. Love it, love it. Yeah, someone said do uh Titanic 2 or something oh, like yeah, that. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a great podcast. Check it out. Uh Brittany's Instagram is linked down below, which links you right over to the podcast. So uh give her some support and Ethan. Shout out to Ethan. Uh player three. So this is a uh, player three coming back. Uh, from his fans of something live episode where we, I think, dropped this, you know, hey, do you want to play with us? And he was like, absolutely, I want to play. It is Fish. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Fish. Doing? Uh, thanks for having me. I'm excited. Are you nervous? Do you think you're taking this one? I, 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 I'm, I'm feeling optimistic, but, you know, that's just trying to build myself up, you know, so I, <laughs> so I, so I don't have it. So I, the nerves aren't showing. Right, right. But um, I'm, I'm excited about that Aliens Expanded. Um, mm -hmm. I've actually looked at all the tiers, and I think I'm going to go with the Blu-ray T-shirt tier because I, I, those shirts are awesome. So oh, yeah. I, I, haven't pulled the, I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but I still have a, a little time. So, yeah. <laughs> so I think that's the route I'm going. Heck yeah. Can't, exactly. can't go full on producer and stuff, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ian, I, I did want to ask you really quickly, has anyone picked up like the like ten thousand dollar executive producer? Not that I know of, but you do get to shout at me if you get that level. You get to kind of <laughs> scream down the phone at me. So it could be worth it. <laughs> Because like, 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 I've supported a few different kind of crowdfunding campaigns, and I love seeing it, like how far it goes down, like into the thousands. And I'm always curious who has, like, who has that much money to throw at. Like, I wish I did, because I would, yeah. I would so yeah. throw it at your, uh, at, you know. It, but like, who has that money, you know? But uh, hey, a Blu-ray, ninety-nine, perfect. That's all Brilliant. all that matters. So no, that's that's great. I and mean, that's the level most people are at. You know, that's where people are coming in. So yeah, because if you look that's behind uh, Fish there, he's a he's a big uh physical media guy. So oh yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. 
So thank you for being here, Fish. Can't wait to see how you play and Brittany and Ethan, or uh, Ethan, I'm thinking yeah. of Ethan, Ian uh, as well. Uh, our fourth player was the last one to be added because I was thinking, you know what? Four, four is not fun. Like, come on, like you got to have an odd number, right? Because I don't know, it just, it just makes more fun. So we're bringing a fan favorite. We'll be seeing him in October for Halloween Horror Nights. It is Mr. Tony. Hello, how's everyone doing? Obviously, you're a physical media guy too. Are yeah. you picking up Aliens Expanded? I actually just found out about it tonight, so probably yes. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> you that alien, so. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it, it looks amazing. So, uh, Tony, uh, yeah. we talked backstage. You don't think you're winning tonight? <laughs> <laughs> we love Tony. <laughs> no. <laughs> so hey, you know what? I would watch you win, though. That like that will be the, the funny underdog. part. Watch you win. So. Mm -hmm um very excited to have you here man thank you for being here funny enough tomorrow we were supposed to do an aliens watch along on your channel yep. but that yep. had to get uh postponed so yep, we're called, so hey it is what it is it'll happen and last but certainly not least we saved maybe the best for last i don't know i don't know he's been on the channel before everybody's been on the channel before and uh he's the guy tony predicts will win <laughs> it's james <laughs> oh hey what's up everybody how are y'all doing? Good to have you here. You're in our uh, lovely state of uh, Georgia here. Yes, I'm holding down the fort in North Georgia, and y'all are down there in Savannah, right? Savannah, yes. All right. Um, uh, let me ask you, because I've asked a couple other players, do you, you feel confident in your Rotten Tomatoes knowledge? I think so. I think so. I, I'm going to work myself up here like fish. <laughs> I, I, I think I can. <laughs> <laughs> all right i love it i love it all right so ladies and gentlemen these are your players for tonight give them a round of applause all right cut it out cut it out all right so they all have something to write on now everybody's doing the honor system i have disabled the chat so that they can't see the chat but don't have your phones pulled up don't have rotten tomatoes pulled up on google keep all that stuff this is the honor system we're having fun tonight um, and uh, let's bring in the patented. This is patent pending uh, Haley Cam, which we got to switch things around again. I don't know why it does that. Uh, oh, geez. Oh, boy. Why does it do that? Why does it do that? There we go. Oh, and perfect. Okay. So there is the patented Haley Cam. So she looks like, uh, what is that from the Adams family? It. It, <laughs> the hand that walks around. Uh, she will, she will be displaying the cards. She'll be our Vanna White tonight. And uh, yeah, so uh, no one has any questions before we get started. Um, just a refresher: what exactly are we writing? <laughs> I just want, like Perfect. keeping track of the. Perfect. Great question. Okay, so everybody will be keeping track of their movie collection. So, okay. the title, it. or just a tally, or that so... you'll you'll be writing the title and the uh, critic score. Which okay. we'll explain what that is when we show the cards. So. Yeah, so, like, I'll have each person's like uh, lineup displayed, and what you'll have, like, they'll be in order from their critic score, least to greatest, and what you're gonna have is the title and the score in the order that I have displayed, and just because it's easier for you to see, that's why we have you write it down. Because when we turn the cards over, it gets pretty small, but it's. Good visual and Haley cam. Perfect. All right. Sweet. Um, and I'm getting some feedback from you, James. I don't know why uh, all of a sudden it started happening, the feedback. Are y'all able to hear me? I can hear you, but there's like some background static. I don't know if anyone else hears it that, that like we haven't heard it before. Right there. Is that better? No? Hold on. Let me unmute him. There we go. Can't unmute your guests. They chose to mute themselves. Oh, okay. You chose to mute yourself. Is yeah. Are you able to hear me well now? Can you that hear me now? Fun. Okay. Yeah, that should be fun. Yeah. My, uh, for some reason, my microphone uh, lost the connection, so I'm just on my uh, MacBook audio. So hopefully you can hear me all right. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Um, if you're able to reconnect your mic, that would be like, if you're able to figure that out throughout, that'd be awesome. Um, all right, so that's it. So that's how it plays. Everybody's going to get one card to start their collection off. And uh, the way it's going to play is the first to 10 takes this. So 
uh, the way we'll do it. I'm sure you've all seen it in past rounds. We're going to show you a, uh, we're not going to show you the card. We're going to name the movie and you have to guess whether it's high or low compared to the first card in your collection. So take it away. We'll start it yep. off. Well, this is just like their starting movie. Yep. These are their starting oh. movies. Yep. So I'm going from the top. Just... Yep. yep. Just grabbing from the top. The deck has been shuffled 10 times. Oh yeah. <laughs> so Ian, your yeah. movie to start is Independence Day, 1996, Ooh. with a 67%. Okay. So when we come back to you, you'll be guessing whether or not, like, whether your next movie is higher than 67 or lower than 67. Okay. Yep. So that's it. It's like a Price is Right kind of yeah, higher. Yeah, higher and lower. Yeah, yep, got yep. it. Yeah. That's, a, that's what it is. All right. So, Brittany, your first movie. And unfortunately, Titanic was played, I think, in round one. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your movie is Pretty in Pink with a 73% from 1986. Mm, okay. Right. Pretty in Pink, 73. All right. Fish. I'll, I'll fix them. Fish, your movie is from 1987, Mannequin with a 20%. Mannequin. Oh, I love that movie. <laughs> you said 27? 20. Even worse. Oh, sorry. You're reading the dates. Sorry. Don't read the dates. I forget numbers can confuse. Yep. Uh, Tony, your first movie. A Knight's Tale with a 59%. The Heath Ledger classic? Uh, <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> All right. And finally, Mr. James, your first movie. Is Minions. Minions. <laughs> with okay. a 55. All right. All right. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is what is starting the collections <laughs> off. All right. So is it? Yeah. So that looks good. Cool. Perfect. All right. So um, let us just say hello to the chat really quickly. I'm not going through every single comment here because that would be insane. Just want to see who is joining us really quickly. Adrian, thank you for being here, Adrian. Cynthia, thanks for being here, Cynthia. Holland, thanks for being here, Holland. Uh, Laren, of course, thank you so much for being here, Laren. And moderating the chat while Tony's in here. <laughs> he, yep, yep. Uh, Wilkie, uh, uh, Corey, thank you for being here. Uh, everybody saying hi to everybody. Horror and more, one of our great mods. She's coming back for Rotten Redemption. Uh, Spoilers. Dell on movies. Thanks for being here, Dell. Uh, everyone say hi to everyone. Cool, cool, cool. All right, sweet. All right, perfect. Ian. Yeah. Kicking things off. Okay. With 2014's Maleficent, starring Angelina Ooh. Jolie. Ooh. Do you think critics thought that was higher than a 67 or lower than a 67? Yeah, two middling films. Middling films, tough. <laughs> I'm going to go with lower than 67. Lower. Lower. You are correct. correct. With a 54. So now write down Maleficent and 54%. Okay. Because obviously as the cards add on, it gets trickier as, as it goes yeah. on. All right, coming over to Brittany. Scared. <laughs> <laughs> Your movie is from 1972, Blackula. Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Off to like, a great start. Would you like a synopsis? Yes, please. After being turned into a vampire, an African prince wakes up centuries later in 1970s Los Angeles, and he's hungry. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go lower than 73. All right. You're also Also correct. correct. <laughs> okay. With a 46. So type in Blackula and 46%. There we go. All right, Fish. All right. <laughs> Your first film being John Malkovich from 1999. All right. Well, yeah, I've got a lot of room to work with here. So um, I'm going to say higher. He's going higher. And this one is certified fresh. 94. 94. Wow. Yeah. So you really do have a wide range. <laughs> All right. All right. Everybody's gotten one so far. Tony, are you going to keep that train going? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Your first film. Is from 1990, Goodfellas. 
Well, it's definitely higher than a nice tail. That's uh, <laughs> no way. that's low. Is... No, it's higher. Also certified fresh. Ninety six. Ninety six. So write down Goodfellas and ninety six percent. And Mr. James rounding out round one of round three. It is going to be 2013's The Purge. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that's below 55%. Going lower than 55. And with that, everyone Everyone takes a card. The Purge, 40%. So there we go. Oh, I like how you're kind of stacking them like that. That's cool. Uh, So there we go. Literally, I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Where every single player got a card. So that is some... Especially with five now. Some that... stiff competition going on here. Yeah. Which one of you is going to break it? Yeah. Which one of you is, ha, has Rotten Tomatoes pulled up? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, also, of course, chat room, play along with us from time to time. We're going to pop in, see what you are saying, because I know you guys like to do that. Yes. Laren says, great first round. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wilkie said, I recently bought Blackula from Dell's recommendation. Need to get it. Need to get it watched. Okay. <laughs> And Dell says, please see Blackula. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. How many people in this stream have seen Blackula? I have not seen it. No. He ends the only one. <laughs> I'm the only one. It's better than, what is it, 40%? It's better than 46. that. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's, it's dated, but it's all right. Yeah. All righty. So kicking off round two of round three. We're coming back to Ian. Uh oh, we got a wild card. No. So the way the wild cards work is uh, Ian will have a chance to win the card. If Ian does not win, we go in order from the players. So it'll be Brittany's turn. She'll have a chance. If she doesn't get it, Fish will have a chance, and so on and so forth. So the category of this one title so i'm gonna pull another card here ian i'm gonna give you everything on that card except for the title and you have to guess based off of that information the title okay all right i'm ready so what we have is 2007 came out in it stars at this time oh wait wait is that correct yeah that's correct the name okay elliot page and michael Sarah, and it has a 94 percent and would you like a synopsis or no? I think this is Juno. You think it's Juno? Yeah. You'd be correct. You are correct, sir. <laughs> so you can write down Juno with a 94%. Okay. The good high one for me. Brittany, I saw you smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like, I got Blackula. <laughs> Gosh. All right. Well, Brittany, your second chance at a card here is 2016's Assassin's Creed. Give me the synopsis. I wrote the book on this. Yeah, so <laughs> go easy. Easy. <laughs> a troubled man from a long line of ancient assassins must relive his ancestors' memories to prevent a shadowy organization from locating a mystical artifact. I'm going to say this is higher than... 46 percent higher than 46 but lower than 73 and unfortunately it has an 18 oh it was a stinker <laughs> I, totally, I totally missed this movie i had I did everybody else in the world apparently <laughs> uh, so wait, so game wait. adaptations don't have but the best rep <laughs> so i'm confused so wait i have to that it has to be in between between all of my previous ones so when you said higher than a 46 that's implying that it's also lower than a 73 unless you said you could do it like higher than a 73 in between those two scores or lower than 46 does that make sense so i can always i can choose whichever movie Uh i want to say it's higher than yes but obviously you're trying to use intuition under like understanding, assuming you're familiar with the film, mm-hmm. trying to guess if it's higher than a 90, if it's below a 90, you, you know what I mean? Okay. Yes. But okay. I just didn't know. I thought, it, I thought I was always comparing it to whatever my last movie was. Oh, no, 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 no. That's why you're writing them down because yeah, yeah. you're going to keep adding movies. So you're going to have to look at your board and try to determine okay all the so percentages. This one could technically like if, if it did, you could put it in between. 
So you can have it either up here as being higher, in between as being between these two scores, these two scores, or below both those scores. But wait, why were why was eighteen in between forty six? I, I was just I just had this card as a hypothetical. This oh, was okay, the Assassin's okay. Creed card. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, we're all we're back on track. We're back on track. All right, cool. Uh, so did not grab that one, unfortunately. Ian, when you wrote the book, were you were yeah. you familiar with the reviews, or was that prior to the? Reviews? No, it was prior. It was prior to seeing the film. Okay. But honestly, I didn't understand the film as I wrote the whole book. I didn't understand the film when I watched it. So you know, <laughs> I still don't understand what Assassin's Creed was all about, and I wrote literally three hundred pages on it. So, <laughs> alrighty, uh, Fish, coming back to you with 2006's The Da Vinci Code, starring Tom Hanks. All right, all right. <clears throat> Uh, well, like I said, I've got a wide range to play around with here. So I'm going to go in between Mannequin and John Malkovich. And you would be correct with a 25. Ooh, oh, wow. It's barely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the, the audience and critics, I mean, both consider rotten. But that's still a big divide. That is a big divide. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. All righty, Tony, we're coming back to you. Here we go. Tony from 1999, starring Freddie Prince Jr., She's All That. Uh, I guess I'll put it in between a night's tale and a good fellas. Yeah. That's probably wah, wah, wah. Uh, still 42, a stinker, though. 42. Still stinky. 42. And that came out in what many consider the one of the best years of all time, but I guess not. She's all that. So. She wasn't all that. She actually. was not all that. <laughs> all right, and James rounding out the final, uh, the final. That's why I said it. Rounding out this round, final destination from two thousand. I'm gonna say that that is below the purge. And. Even though you are correct, I disagree. <laughs> I love the Final Destination movie. No, I don't <laughs> so good. Critics hate it, though. So that was 35%? 35, yes, sir. All right. That's interesting, Brittany. You don't strike me as someone that wa like likes that stuff. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, I went over this before with another friend of mine. It's like dying is probably my biggest fear, and in those movies, death is the villain. So right. it kind of... <laughs> That kind of freaks me out, and for some reason, I'm I'm drawn to it. So, right. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. All right, so let us take a quick peek here at uh, at the scoreboard. Let's see. We have Ian at three, Brittany at two, uh, Fish at three, Tony at two. It's and literally James alternating. I love it. <laughs> three, two, three, two. Yep, three, two, All three, right. two, three. All right, so there we go. Uh, now we all understand. Now I'm sure we understand why the going first has a real advantage because if Ian gets 10 cards, then that's the game right there. So, um, all right. Uh, Ian, your okay. next film, my friend, is 2006's 300, starring Gerard Butler. Ooh, ah, I see. Tricky, tricky. Yep. yep. Yeah. It... The scores are all pretty close too. Yeah, he's another middling film. I'm going to go between Independence Day and Maleficent. So somewhere the early '60s, something like that. Wow! 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 Sixty-one percent. Sixty-one. Well played. And that's how you think like a critic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Brittany. Oh, we got a wild card oh. so this one Haley will read the card and everything but this is a audience wild card so what that means Brittany is I have to guess the audience score this time the, the audience score and the way these work is you can be either five percent above or below so if you guess 60 and it's really 63 you still yes. get so we have to guess an actual percentage this time you can't you say can. above or below correct you have to you have to guess the actual percentage but you're you have leeway. You have 5% okay. either way, up or okay. down. So, 
And then again, if you get it wrong, we'll go to fish and so on and so forth. Okay. So the movie you're the movie you're trying to guess is from 1998. You've got mail. And I can even tell you that the critics gave it a 69. But that's okay. not always yeah, the audience do doesn't that. always concur. Yeah. There's Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan. Yep. Have you seen this movie? I've seen parts of it. <laughs> if you would like a synopsis, I can also give you that. No, I think I know what it's about. Um, it's about getting mail. Yeah, mm -hmm. mail, mail. <laughs> but okay, I think because mm, this seems like it seems like a movie audiences would like more than critics, in my opinion. I think. I don't know. Um, I'll say. <laughs> 75 audience 75 audience you're locking in i think <laughs> i was either gonna go in the 70s or the 80s but i think i'll say 75 75, 75 what do we have in. we have 73 a dinger congrats. congrats so now write down you've got mail and 69 percent we're still ranking them based on that critic score yes all right Wait, so I'm writing the critic score down? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And what was it again? 69. 69, yeah. Bill and Ted's favorite number. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fish. All right. Here we go, my friend. 2001's Monsters, Inc. Okay. Still a wide range for me to choose from. So 25 to 94. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go in between uh, Da Vinci and Malkovich. So in between, you're saying? Yes, sir. Incorrect. By two per... Uh, By oh, two no. percent. 96. Dang. We love this movie. Yep. Yeah. Never underestimate those Pixar ratings. Right? Yeah. Unless it's Cars 2, then, then by all means. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Tony. Here we go. Ooh, good one. Ooh, That's a good one. Good movie. Then again, that that means nothing. <laughs> we have really bad taste in movies. Yeah, yeah. we had because well, I could say this one. Uh, one of our coworkers, the one Dana Carvey movie. Uh, oh, the uh, the Master of Disguise. Yeah, that has a one percent in this game. And I say that because we already played that card, and it's like his favorite movie ever. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> this one is Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. So, movie number one. Oh, shit. Um, crap. Uh, between 59 and 96. Uh, uh, I'll try in between again. It can't be lower than 59. You would be correct. 74. Me, 74. Now, yeah. this is where you should have went, yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what was the number on that? 74? 74. Yeah, pretty shagadelic. That is very shagadelic. We're coming back to James, and we got another wild card. Oh, okay. this one is the this one's the title, similar to Ian. I think Ian had to guess the title, and uh, so we're gonna pull a card here. We'll give you all the information except for the title, and you have to guess what the movie's title. Right. Is. It is from the year 1995. It has a 100 percent. On Rotten Tomatoes. It's considered a perfect film, I guess. I think it's even still like it. And honestly, if you don't get it after this, I'm very confused. It stars <laughs> it stars Tom Hanks and Tim Allen. Oh. It's Tom Pretty Hanks salty. and Tim Allen. Tom Hanks and Tim Allen. But. From the year 95. Oh, okay. oh. I don't know. <laughs> Oh man, I thought I thought you were describing seven at first, but that's obviously. <laughs> what you're gonna say, Brad? <laughs> oh no, I don't know. All throw right. throw some guess out. Well, you could still read uh, the synopsis. I mean, honestly, I think if I read the synopsis, that's a little kind of a dead giveaway. But it's not illegal. It's not I coming to me. Oh man, I don't know. You, uh, so you have no guess. I have no idea. Wow. All right. Ian, you have a chance to steal here, my friend. Okay. 
Well, I, it, this is Toy Story, isn't it? It is Toy Story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's drawn oh. by the fact it's animation. Yeah, one hundred percent. I wasn't even thinking of animation. Okay. Uh, but, now, but, now, but now do you see why if I read the synopsis? Yeah. It would have been, <laughs> yeah. 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 You, if anybody was curious, it says insecurity and envy strike an old fashioned cowboy doll when a yeah. newly arrived space ranger action figure becomes a new favorite of the little boy who owns them. Yeah, I'm thinking live action. I wasn't even thinking yeah. animation. Oh, man. Ian, you can mark this one down at 100% at the top of your list. That's a good card to have. Yeah. Now, here's the kicker, right? Because that was uh, James' turn, which he didn't get. Ian stole. We're coming right back to Ian. So you get a, you, ca you have another chance at a card here. So Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh. 1989, starring Robin Williams. We have Dead Poets Society. Ooh. Okay, I'm saying this this will come between Independence Day at 67% and Juno at 94. So maybe mid 80s, late 80s, something like that. Wow. Damn. 84. 84%. <laughs> captain, oh, uh, Captain, my captain. <laughs> you are definitely seasoned this game, apparently. <laughs> It's a better, it's a good movie, The Poet Society. People think it's schmaltzy. It's not. It's a great movie. Hmm. All right. Brittany. Yes. Here we go. All right. You have 2015's Mr. Right. Another movie I completely missed. All I can't right. even. I'll, yeah. I'll, what's I'll, what's some other info? I'll give you uh it uh, stars Sam Rockwell and Anna Kendrick. Mm -hmm. And it is about a woman learns her new boyfriend is a contract killer with a conscience who is on the run from the crooks that hired him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So once again, considering I completely missed this and given the cast as well, for some reason, and that synopsis, <laughs> I'm going to go lower than blackula or oh oh yeah, yeah yeah lower than blackula yes are correct by two points 44 <laughs> mr right 44 nice i love this comment right here i have to highlight this one uh we need to get james some films in the criterion collection <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, what, what was the percentage get of the movie again? Toy story 34 <laughs> 44. 44. 44. Yeah, surprising Toy Story. I mean, uh, maybe with Wally -E being added, was, maybe at some I was, point. I was just about to say yeah. they added Wally, -E, so you never know. You never know. <laughs> All righty. Fish, you have a wild card, my friend. All right. This one is the release year, you have to guess. Okay. Oh, geez. All right. All right. And unlike the percentages with the critics and the audience, there is no leeway here. You have to literally guess the exact year. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Right. <laughs> nope. No pressure, Fish. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Here we go. We have Paranormal Activity. Jeez. The first uh, Paranormal Activity. I was this close to saying. <laughs> um. Let's go 2011. And you would be wrong. Tony, okay. you have a chance to steal here. Paranormal Activity, the first movie. 2010. That is correct. My or sorry, that is wrong. No. That 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 is incorrect. I was going to say, no. I was gonna say 10. <laughs> James, what is your guess, my friend? 1999. That is very yeah. wrong. <laughs> Ian. This is tough. Uh, I'm going to go with 2009. I really don't know, actually. That is also wrong. <laughs> Brittany, if you don't get this, no one gets it. Oh, now this is tough because I have <laughs> memories of seeing Paranormal Activity 2 when I was 17. Okay. So now I'm trying to think how, much, trying to math it. how much earlier the first one would have come out from that. Um. Mm. Is it before or after? <laughs> We're ready um, tonight. 
I don't think it was a. You should start. Or out. maybe maybe it, I'm trying to think. Was it a 2000s movie? Like a late 2000s movie, or was it a 2010s movie? Uh, we need to have a timer. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go. Two thousand eleven. That was already guessed, unfortunately. Oh, it was? Yes. I thought they said two thousand twelve. No. no. Oh no. my goodness! Are you serious, Brittany? No. <laughs> All right, show it. Correct answer was two thousand seven. Two thousand seven. Oh that my god! Wow. wow! Wow! But man. I will say, I will say that first film is difficult because there was like a release, like it depending on when you saw it, because it was one of those movies that got made in a certain year and then it didn't get released until a few years. So depending right. on when you look at it hitting the festival circuit is also confusing. So I don't know how they, but 2007 is what they landed on. So my other answer was 2008, but that was, right. yeah. that was, that, 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 that was difficult. I will yeah. say. Yeah. So, uh, so that was fish's turn, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Tony. You have, from 1990, Problem Child, starring John Ritter and Michael Oliver. Also, I believe Gilbert Gottfried's in this movie. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Brian, I'm going to put it between a Knight's Tale and Austin Powers. Between a Knight's Tale and Austin, he's going. You know, this is the first time I've ever seen a card like this in our deck. Zero. Zero. Oh, Zero. shit. Zero. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Okay. <laughs> he hated this movie. <laughs> he hated it. It. Problem Child. Has anyone seen it? Oh yeah, I've seen Problem Child. Oh, yeah, I used to love oh. it. There's, there's <laughs> but I was child a child too, when yeah. I was, you know, I was I was young when it came out, so it was right up my alley, you know. So yeah. do we do we think a zero is a little too harsh? Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. at a time when everybody was yeah, possibly, you know, maybe, maybe one 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 percent at least, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So, Master of Disguise is better than that movie, according to <laughs> the movie. Yeah, apparently. Okay. apparently. <laughs> All right, so that was Tony's turn. James, you All have right. 2002's Chicago, starring Catherine Zeta Jones and Renee Zellweger. All right, uh, I'm gonna say that that is higher than Minions, higher than Minions. And you are correct. Eighty six. Your first fresh movie and certified fresh at that. Didn't that win Best Picture that year? It did. Yes, it did. Yeah. Yes, it did. It did. Sixty what percent? Eighty six. Eighty six percent. Yeah. Certified fresh. All right. Best oh. Picture, Best Supporting Actress. Yep. Yeah. It'd be the two towers, didn't it? Yeah. All right. Let's take a peek at the uh, scoreboard here. Ian is in the lead. With six. Mm -hmm. Six. Followed by a tie between Brittany and James at four, and Fish and Tony both have three. All right, here we go. Come on, Tony, let's do this. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Laren's calling Rotten Tomatoes out right here. Rotten Tomatoes is incredibly nonsensical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, really quickly, let's just take a, a like a two second break here. What is everyone's thoughts on Rotten Tomatoes? Do we think it is actually a legitimate thing, or are we like, eh, it's bogus at this point? Well, it's yeah, you know, it, it is legitimate in the sense that it's now used by studios and it's an assessment, and everyone draws upon it. But mm -hmm. you you know what what divides a, a positive or a negative from a critic is really hard to assess unless you you know. We at Empire we used to have like the five star rating, but we even we knew you could never, you know, qu qualify a film by four or five. We used to go, it's a four and a half star film, it's a three and a half star film. You, there were never enough stars to kind of legitimately and analyze something. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, it, it, it's a good site in the sense it gives you an overview, but it's not a, a an accurate, you know, really accurate portrayal of something. Yeah, I think of it as, you know, it's a data point. And, you know, I look at that, I look at Metacritic and, you know, I, I now want to see Problem Child because I want to know, you know <laughs> can it really be as bad as zero? So, so I, I, I got to see that now. So, 
Rotten Tomatoes sucks. Critics hate everything. <laughs> oh, that's harsh. Yeah. That is harsh. That, Nadia, that's harsh. She's that's just harsh. upset she in a win that. round two. She's got into it. <laughs> I think personally, like Rotten Tomatoes, like any sort of like information source, like you have to compare it with how you said, James, like Metacritic and other sort of letterbox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And use those like in tandem. Don't just solely base your opinion on one. Right. That's what letterbox. I was going to say. Use it as a guide to kind of, you know, yeah. I might like this. I might not. Okay. Well, yeah. But yeah, not read, to be read all the reviews. All. <laughs> and read the reviews too. Read yeah. the reviews. Yeah. yeah that's that's what you should do. Yeah. Yep. I agree. All right. That was our break. We're coming back to Ian. Getting a little rougher now because we got 1988's Bloodsport with Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Bloodsport. Okay, I'm going to say this is lower than Maleficent. Lower than 54%. Lower than 54. You are correct. With 46. 46. Wow. He's killing it. He's killing mm -hmm. it. He's killing it. All right, Brittany. Oh, oh, you want me to read it? All right, Brittany, <laughs> your, your movie is 1990s. Ernest goes to jail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, synopsis. An affable but not very bright bank janitor is mistakenly sent to prison, and an evil criminal who happens to be the janitor's doppelganger takes his place at the bank. I'm going to say this is lower than Mr. Right. Lower than Mr. Right. With an 11%. 11. <laughs> yes. Just that title right away. I was like, this sounds like a Paul Blart mall cop situation or something <laughs> yeah, like that. There's a whole series of Ernest films. Aren't there? Ernest goes yeah. to camp. Ernest does something else. Scared stupid. That should have been yeah. one of the titles. Ernest does something else. <laughs> <laughs> it, was it was 11 percent. 11. <laughs> 11. All right. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Uh, fish. We finally got it. Gosh, dingo, we finally got it. 2003's The Room from Tommy Wiseau. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so I've got... Oh, wow. We're okay. seeing that this Saturday. <laughs> we're seeing that this Saturday with Greg Sestero in person. So very excited. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, hi, Mark. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, I know this... Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure this wasn't well-received, but it has become a cult classic, and and people do love it for the um, for uh, everything awful about it. Um, but I'm gonna go less than mannequin. Less than mannequin. Fish, you're a little too harsh. Twenty six. Dang it. Twenty six. Twenty six. I disagree. No. If anything deserves to be a hundred percent movie, <laughs> this one. <laughs> Have you ever thought of writing a book on the room, Ian? No, there are there is a there is a book on the room, isn't there? I think someone has done that. Someone has yeah. written. Well, that's Greg yeah. Sestero. He had Greg Sestero, the and the film uh, that was made about the room was based on the book, wasn't it? The, the disaster artist. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. here we go. We finally hit the room. I was waiting for it. <laughs> Tony. Tony. 1994, Natural Born Killers with Woody Harrelson and Juliet, Juliette Lewis. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I think that was well received. Uh, I'm going to go between Austin Powers and Goodfellas. Now, Tony, you would be correct if you were judging by the audience. Oh, the critics. Wow. Okay. Wow. Oh. Dang. Differ. I thought that was okay. <laughs> that widespread. Yeah, Quentin Tarantino, he hates that as well, doesn't he? <laughs> Even though he wrote it. I was going to yeah. say, didn't he write it? <laughs> he wrote it. He hates it. He hates all of his own version of it. I love Nadia. I, the only time I hear about the room is from this channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. So we're some of the room's biggest fans. So, I mean, look, this is from the last time we went to go see the room in person. We took some spoons. spoons. Oh. <laughs> so, we love the room. Um, all right. Uh, that was Tony's turn. James, we're coming back around. All right. 2008's Twilight starring Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson. 
Okay. Maybe that should um, be in the Criterion Collection. <laughs> oh, absolutely. 100% that. Uh, I'm going to say that that is... I'm going to say that that's below Minions. Do I have to say it's between one of my other ones? or so Below Minions, but above The Purge. Right? So between 40 and 55? Is that what you're saying? Uh, below be, uh, below minions and above final destination. Can can I do that? Uh, it'd have to be. Uh, oh, I, oh, it has to be the next one. Yeah, the, one they have to, the, card, the cards have to be in, next. In one. I'll say below minions and uh, it's between minions and the purge. Between minions and the purge. My guess. You are correct. Correct. With forty nine. No. All right. So Twilight forty nine percent. Who here has seen the whole saga? I still haven't. I just saw I, Twilight I, I, in theaters I, I, though I, recently. I'm I'm part two, uh, short. I I haven't seen part Breaking Dawn part two. I went backwards and started with that one for some reason, and that was enough. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I saw the first one, and and I've seen pieces of some of the other ones, but it's not as bad as people. You know, people give it a lot of crap, but it's 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 decent. You know, Twilight. Which one has the weird baby? The last one. That's the, the last, last one. <laughs> <laughs> See, right. I read, I read, I read all the books, and I loved the books. So when the movies came out, I was very hyped, and then when I saw them, I was very disappointed. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I like right. the rivalry between the you know the vampires and the werewolves. You know, <laughs> right, right. I'm team vampire. So <laughs> taking a peek at this scoreboard, Ian still in the lead here with what seven. <laughs> Seven. Yep. And then still a tie between wow. Brittany and James. Wow. And still a tie. Wow. Fish and Tony. <laughs> we gotta do something here, Fish. I think <laughs> I think what I, I think what happened was y'all started a separate group chat and you were like, let's tie, let's <laughs> team up. <laughs> wow. So there we go. Are you guys hmm. in little study groups? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. Taking a quick break to read some comments. Nadia says, I was a huge twy head when they came out. Uh, my daughters were young when they came out. I've seen the entire crappy Twilight song. <laughs> uh, just now, which one is your favorite? Do you have a favorite one of the Twilight movies? Who? Uh, uh, Eddie and Haley. Oh, uh, I I've, I've only ever seen the first one, so I okay. guess it would be the first one, maybe. <laughs> so I've just seen all the fantastic memes. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Ian, okay. coming back to you, my friend. It's getting with... hard now. Everything's getting a bit squished together. The numbers getting, are getting yeah. tight now. It's getting harder. And we got 2010's The Last Airbender from M. Night Shyamalan. Oh, right. Okay. I'm saying <laughs> this. I reviewed this, you know. So uh, it, this was not a popular film in any shape or form. I think this is below blood sport. This is probably going to be like 21%, maybe. I think that's even giving it too much grace. Five. It's five. Five. There's no way to didn't focus. You know, there were people in it. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a card that's 100%, and now you have a card that's five. five. Okay. Yep. The Last Airbender. Look, M. Night Shyamalan's in my Mount Rushmore filmmakers, and that is one that I haven't seen. So, <sighs> Did you see the trailer for his new film today? No, because I, I, they don't need to sell me on it. I'm going to see it, so I'm it's staying. Crazy. Crazy. It's it's the movie yeah. Trap. What's it called? It's called Trap. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's what? Uh, uh, Aaron. Uh, well, what's his name? Aaron. Aaron. It's Josh Hartnett. Oh, Josh Hartnett. Ooh. I don't know. I mean, I mean, say no more. Trailer. Okay, so I'm not spoiling wow. anything. Josh Hartnett takes his daughter to a concert, huge okay. pop concert, and he, he goes out to get a drink or something. And the police have cordoned off every exit and entrance. And he asked some guy behind him, what's going on? They go, there's a serial killer in the building. And the whole concert is to trap the serial killer. Guess who the serial killer is? <laughs> it's Josh Hartnett. <laughs> That's all in the trailer. Oh, wow. Wow. So the nice, wow. happy, nice dad is also the serial killer. And the whole concert has been designed to trap him. Yikes. Wow. So Yikes. you've got a route for the serial this is, killer. And this is Shyamalan? This is Shyamalan, yeah. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm well, going to check out that trailer as soon as I get off the screen. 
he's hit and miss with me, but um, you had me at Hartman. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So there we go. The last airbender added to uh, Ian's collection here. Number eight. He's only two <laughs> away from uh, taking round three. So step it up, everybody. Step it up. <laughs> here we go. Brittany. 2002's Serving Sarah with Matthew Perry. Rest in peace. Synopsis, please. <laughs> <laughs> to get revenge on her cheating husband, a British sociolite hatches a plot with a process server to turn the tables on him and secure her fair share of their fortune. That was a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> and what was the title again? Serving Sarah. Sarah spelled S-A-R-A. -A. That doesn't help. <laughs> uh... I'm going to say between Mr. Wright and Ernest goes to jail. Oh, part of me was saying it. I was like, this sounds like it would be in the single digits, but I wanted yeah. to give it some credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. We, we try to give movies credit. Because right. <laughs> I was like, it's probably maybe like a 12% or something, right? You know? <laughs> right. Are you going to go put them? All right. Our cat's meowing, so we're going to uh, she's going to go quickly see what's up. Um, all right. Uh, so that is, so we're on to fish. Yes, we're yeah. on to fish. Fish. Wild, it's getting wild right. in here, fish. So this is the tomato meter, which is the uh, the uh, critic score, is what you're trying to guess here. Five above, five below. That's your grace period right there. Okay. Here we go. 2004's, 2004's, not this past year. Mean Girls. Mean Girls. The original Mean Girls. One of my favorites. Um. And would you like to know the uh, audience score? I'm sure that's pretty high. I, I mean, in my opinion, but uh, uh, sure. Yeah, audience score. Audience score is 66. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I see. Um, I wonder because, you know, it's well written. It's, yep. um, man. All right. <laughs> wow. Okay. That hurts my heart. <laughs> Let's go, critics. Um, I'm gonna lance kind of in the middle. So let's go. Uh, let's go 72. 72. So we'll go. I forgot the sound effects the first time we have sound effects for this. So 72, you're down? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Fish. Bye. Tony, oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Tony, you have a chance here. Audience is 66. What do you what do you think the critics gave Mean Girls? It's a tough one. That it's is tough. tough. It is tough. I feel like it was well received, but I don't know how well received. Um, how much? Eighty percent. Like what did you say? Eighty percent. Eighty percent. Okay, show it. Show it. 84. Wow. Certified fresh. Wow. 84. Tony, you can add this one to, to your, your collection. collection. And did we all see the new Mean Girls? <laughs> no. Not yet. No, <laughs> no. I, re I refuse. <laughs> no interest. No interest. All and right. I love musicals. I love musicals and I refuse to see that movie. <laughs> We, we walked in at the last like five minutes before the movie we were seeing was switched showing, over yeah and so that was enough we saw the last five minutes so. <laughs> yeah. uh so that was fish's turn tony we're coming back to you so here we go oh, man. 1985's commando with arnold <laughs> arnold Schwarzenegger. No, Dave. he wouldn't know that <laughs> Where's um, Dave when you need him? Damn it! <sighs> Below a Knight's Tale. I mean, I liked it, but I don't know how well critics would have liked that. Below a Knight's Tale. Well, critics did like it a little more oh, than that. Oh, it's actually, actually high. Yeah. 
So 67, unfortunately, didn't get that one. But Commando, if, if no one has seen it, I'm sure some people in this chat have seen it, but uh, it's a phenomenal movie. <laughs> phenomenal movie. <laughs> Wasn't it Die Hard? Wasn't it Die Hard or something? It was like, it, it has some association to Die Hard, or am I thinking of some Isn't other? the same movie? writer, I think. I feel uh, like it was a Die Hard movie and then it transitioned into Commando maybe, or maybe. something like that. But, um, Oh, wait, no, because Die Hard is later, isn't it? Die Hard's 88. Yeah, so I, I don't know what I'm thinking. Commando is and, something. But Die Hard was, was offered to Schwarzenegger. Right. Okay, maybe that's what yeah. I'm thinking. Maybe that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Um, all right, and that was Tony's turn. James, we're coming back to you. All right. With 1998's a Dave Chappelle classic, Half Baked. Half Baked. Okay. Dave uh, Chappelle. I'm going to say that that is, that is, this is tough here. It's getting tighter. Um, <laughs> I'll say it's um, between Twilight and The Purge. Twilight and The Purge? Unfortunately, it was a 29. Ah. Mm. Mm. That baked. Yeah, Damn. Really, really like this, but with an audience score of eighty-one. Yeah, so it's one of those. Wide range. Yeah, yeah. People love Chappelle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I think of Chappelle, I think of the Nutty Professor. That's that's what I think of when I think of Chappelle. Oh yeah, yeah, stand-up comic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. stand-up comedy. Um. All right, Ian, coming back okay. to you. We're gonna because yeah. has the scoreboard changed much? Ian has no. eight. And then everything else stayed the same. Well, except Tony added one, right? Tony added one. <clears throat> yeah, so him and Fish are no longer in a tie. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ian, your film is 2008's Step Brothers. Ooh. It's all getting so tight now. It's really hard. Um, I'm Step Brothers. I'm going to say that is between Bloodsport at 46 and Maleficent at 54. Between those two. Yeah. And I'm sorry. By 1%, 1 you're oh, wrong. Oh, man. <laughs> ah, glance the post. Close. Yeah. Real close. All right, everybody. This is what you wanted. This is your chance now. <laughs> right. This is your chance now. He didn't get a card. Bounce on this. He didn't get a card. <laughs> All right. Brittany, your card is. Starring Matt Damon and ScarJo, We Bought a Zoo. Why am I getting these movies I've never heard of in my life? Um, synopsis? They buy they, they a bought zoo. A zoo. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's what it says. No. no. Oh gosh. Is. I was like, are you serious? I mean, I've seen IMDB title like synopsis. It's just zoo. like so basic. So <laughs> yes, synopsis. Uh, a grieving widower with two young children buys, renovates, and reopens a zoo. <laughs> oh, pretty close. Just a couple a little extra flourishes. Um, again, I can't even... What, what was the year? 2011. Yeah, I can't even imagine Ben Affleck and Scarlett Johansson. And Matt, Matt, Damon. Damon. Matt Damon. Oh, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. It's if they're besties so one and the same They're, i was about to say what the same um <laughs> and i'm from boston so we're always talking about both of them so um uh, entire zoo i was gonna say they're the dung kings right they're the dung kings yes yeah <laughs> not sponsored i'm still gonna say in between mr right and ernest goes to jail mr right and well, is I think it even the, lower than that? It's high for oh Matt gosh. Damon buying a whole zoo. Wow, a whole he zoo. Bought a zoo. Wow. I mean, that just sounds so <laughs> silly, <laughs> off the yeah. wall. Like how? Okay. And then, and then, what's funny is we fast forward a couple months, and coming soon to Spotify is uh, "We Bought a Zoo" scene by scene. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. Uh, fish. Here we 
go. 2004's Troy. Ah, okay. Uh, still a wide range for me because <laughs> I've only got three movies in there. So I'm going to go in between Malkovich and Da Vinci. You are correct. Correct. <laughs> Troy, 53. 53. All right. All right, Tony. Oh, we got a wild. That's crazy. The yeah. tomato meter, so Who you have to guess things? the critic score. Four. Talk about a movie I've never heard of. Abraham Lincoln versus, or not versus, Abraham Lincoln colon Vampire Hunter. Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> So are we saying that Abraham Lincoln hung vampires? 20%? You're going 20%? Yeah. <laughs> James, you have a chance to steal here, my friend. Abraham Lincoln, vampire hunter. I'm going to say 30%. Four. Oh, wow. Man. I was wow. I was yeah. I was thinking like five percent based yeah. on that title. <laughs> Did anybody has anybody watched that? Has anybody no. seen it? No. 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 I, I mean I enjoyed it. It is what it is. The, 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 the title tells you everything. So <laughs> all right. That was Tony's turn. So James took it. And guess what, James? We're coming back to you. You, you this right. is a, a, you have a chance here to get two Double for two. Here. With 2002's Vin Diesel classic, Triple X. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that. that... <laughs> Why are you laughing, Tony? <laughs> no. Vin Diesel and classic. Don't go in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Iron Giant. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, Fast and Furious. <laughs> Pitch Black. Uh, Saving okay. Private Ryan. <laughs> He's in Saving Private Ryan. He's in Saving yeah. Private Ryan. Yep. I'm going to say that comes in between. Oh, goodness. Oh, uh, it's tight here. Uh, let me say it comes in between The Purge and. No, I can't do that. The Purge and Twilight. So James, you have a rare sort of opportunity because this is tied with Twilight. Had you have guessed anything with Twilight, you would have gotten the card. So there you, you go. You get it. So oh, okay. Get it. So if you had said between Twilight and Minions, you still would have gotten the card. Yep. So oh, okay. All so right. There it is. So he has two cards with forty nine percent of what you're saying. Yep. Okay. Nice. Nice. Great. So there you go. All right. So let's take a peek here because it definitely shuffled things around this round. Take a peek at the scoreboard. What do we got? James really made a comeback here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for Ian. We have five for Brittany. Whoa, Fish and Tony. <laughs> looky, looky. <laughs> And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One behind, James. James. You're one behind. Hang it in. Make Tony proud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ian, we're coming back to you with a wild card. Oh, okay. A category. With a new category that we haven't had yet. This is the cast. This one's hard. Okay. I will say. So we're going to give you everything, title, synopsis, everything. You have to guess the two cast members that are listed on the card. And keep in mind, for some reason, sometimes these cards don't have the obvious ones. Okay, great. <laughs> so what two cast members does Ron Tomatoes deem to be the most significant? Like how there okay. was Tim Allen and uh, Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. For yeah. So that made sense. But yeah. this one, good luck with this one, Ian. <laughs> 2006's The Hills Have Eyes. Oh, man. Oh, geez. Geez. I don't know if I can even name who was in it. <laughs> it's a remake, isn't it? It's, it's a remake. Um, yep. Okay. Oh, Fish is like, I got this. No, no, no I'm like, I, I haven't even seen this movie, so I'm like, uh. If it gets uh, to me, I'm like, uh. Do you have anything, Ian? I, 
You know, I, I think it might be Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie. <laughs> that would be cool, though. That would have been cool. That's obviously not correct, Brittany. Like I can see it in my head. But the but the but the sucky part is is these are kind of no name actors, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Like this movie. That's what I'm saying. Like I can, I'm imagining, like I know, like the vibe of the movie and whatever. Yep. But like these people are just sort of nondescript to me. I don't know. Um, yeah, oh, I, I I don't know. <laughs> All right, fish. Do you have anything? All right, because uh, I, I do, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen it, but I do remember looking into it because it's an Arrow title. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Tony Goldwyn and Emily DeRaven. That is incorrect, my friend. Yes. Tony, you got anything? I know the one who played Allison in Hocus Pocus is in it. I just don't know her name. That's all I got. I don't know. <laughs> all right, that doesn't help you. And James, <laughs> anything? No, I have no Nothing. idea. All righty. Well, no one gets that card. And unfortunately, uh, let's see here. Aaron Stanford and Kathleen Quinlan. Who? Oh, I, I know Kathleen Quinlan. Quinlan. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Wasn't getting that. All right. Uh, so that was Ian's turn. We're coming back around to Brittany. You have a chance here to take it with this one. Uh, <laughs> one of my all-time favorites. Classic movie. Jackass. The, the movie. movie. <laughs> oh. The Johnny Two classic. That's earlier than I thought it was. Okay. Um, uh, Interesting that they have the second actor listed as Bam Margera. See, yeah, because I would have said Stevo. Yeah. See, yeah. So there you go. Um, I mean, this doesn't seem like something critics would like. Mm. First, but... of all, first of all, have you seen Jackass? No, but I've seen okay. enough of the show to, <laughs> to surmise uh, what this movie could be like. Um, uh, I keep wanting to go mm, between Mr. Wright and Ernest Goes to Jail. Between Mr. Wright and Ernest Goes to Jail? And unfortunately, oh come on, so close. Forty nine percent. All right, so that was Brittany's turn. Coming back to fish. Nineteen eighty six is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Mm, classic. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be a little rough. Uh, actually, no. Let me go in between uh, Malkovich and Troy. So between mm -hmm. 94 and 53. Ding, 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 ding. Ferris Bueller. 81. Bueller. 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 All right, Tony. Uh, uh, 2005's The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> uh. Uh, between a Knight's Tale and Austin Powers. Between a Knight's Tale and Austin Powers, and you got that, my friend, by one point. There you go, oh. <laughs> sixty. Well done. All right, and James, rounding out this round for us. One second. Make sure you say the date. Yeah, important, 1980, Friday the 13th. The original, not the remake. Oh, hmm. Friday the 13th. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say that that is in between... Chi Chicago and Minions. Wow. <laughs> wow. Honestly, way lower than I thought. 63%. Okay. 63. So I think with that one, you just tied, right? They're tied now, Ian and uh, James. Right? Nice. Uh, yeah. 
Yes. They are tied. Three way tie in the middle. <laughs> and a three way tie in the middle. <laughs> My card's it's, like a, it's like a sandwich. Yes, it literally is a sandwich. Very nice, guys. Very nice. All right. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I want to make sure I wrote this down right. Ferris was 84%. 81? Ferris 81. was 81. 81. Oh, okay. Ian. Dang. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Thanks. That was a memory. That just shocked me. It should have got more. It's a great movie. 81 feels low for Ferris Bueller. Right. <laughs> In the love. All righty. Here we go. Ian, coming back to you with 2008's yeah. The Dark Knight. Oh. Ooh. I'm, I'm going to push. Uh, ooh, it's high, but I'm going to go between Juno at 95, 4 and Toy Story at 100. So say 96, 97, something like that. So you're going between those two? Yep. And yet again, you get, you get it on a technicality. Because it oh. ties with Juno. Wow. So Ian <laughs> is one card away oh. from taking oh. round three. I want to get a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> one one I've heard of, ideally, please. You sound like my friend from round one, Josh. <laughs> like, what is going on here? Like, I'm not I'm getting crap movies. <laughs> I swear the deck's been shuffled. So um, here we go. This is Britney's? This yes, is Britney's, yep. From 2020, so this is pretty recent. You might have heard of it. <laughs> the Hunt. From Blumhouse. Oh. Okay, Blumhouse can go either way. Uh, <laughs> Once again, like, this is tough. Can I have the synopsis? Yes, ma'am. Twelve people wake in a clearing in the woods to discover they are the quarry in a hunt. But one of them decides to turn from prey to predator. Again, this is tough because, like, Blumhouse, like, they got a couple hits, but a lot of misses, I feel like. They have a couple hits, then they have M3 again. Yes, exactly, Megan, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, man. But again, this was not on my radar at all. I feel like I didn't hear anything about it. Um, it got delayed because of COVID. Mm -hmm. 2020. Yeah. Man. You do have some wiggle room. I do, but I, I'm, I'm, all these movies I'm getting, they, they're just like screaming low to me. But then I, but then I do that, and I'm always like a little bit off. Um, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna say the same thing. I'm gonna say between Mr. Wright and Ernest goes to jail. I'm probably. Give the hunt a little more oh, credit. Oh, come on. I will say, I really enjoyed the hunt. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think it deserves a 57. Yeah, the hunt's pretty I, good. I agree more. It's pretty gilpin, isn't it? It's terrific, in it? I should have yeah. changed yeah. it up. I was going to say between You Got Mail and Mr. Right, but I just keep thinking everything's going to be much lower <laughs> for some reason. <sighs> All right. Fish. Coming back to you with 2002's Bend It Like Beckham. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. You're a nightly. Um, yeah, don't remind me. Not a fan. <laughs> Not a fan. Um, I do like the Indian girl, however, in that movie. She was on ER. Um, uh, Parminder Nagra? Yeah. Nagra? Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, man. Uh, critics, critics, critics. critics. Yeah, that's a tough if you hate them. I know, I know. Okay, let me... Mm, okay, let me go in between Ferris and Troy. Okay, Ferris and Troy. Well, Fish, the critics liked it more than that. Mm, what Certified fresh. Oh, Eight wow. Hey, see, that's what I'm saying. Critics, critics. Yeah. <laughs> All 
All right. Back to Tony. 2001's Black Hawk Down. Mm. I feel like that would be high. Um, Starring Josh Hartnett. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, in between Mean Girls and Goodfellas? A little too high. Mm -hmm. But still certified fresh. Still certified. Yep. 77. All right. James, can you tie up again with, with Ian here? We got 1942's Casablanca. Oh, people, people get Casablanca and I get like, whatever these titles are I never heard. Assassin's uh, Blackula. I'm going to put it above Chicago. At a 99. Oh, so not quite like Toy Story material, but close enough. Not as good as Toy Story. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. What do we got? Take a peek here. We do know uh, it's another tie, right? And is it the sandwich still? Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. All righty. Well, there we go. Yep. It's getting cramped here on the board. So this is why we only go to 10. <laughs> but uh, all right. Let's see if we can uh, end this with Ian or not. Wild card. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the title, my good friend. You have to guess the movie title based okay. off of the information you receive. And the movie is from 2004. Has a 40% from the critics. Stars Jason Bear, B-E-H-R. <laughs> and the synopsis. An American family moves into a new house and encounters an unforgiving curse that terrorizes everyone who enters. Um, what's the year? 2000 and... 2004. Four, 2004. Moves into a curse. This does not ring any bell. I was going to say the remake of Poltergeist, but it's too early for that. <laughs> um... I was just trying to guess on my own and I didn't get it. You didn't get it either? No. No, I don't know. You don't know? All right. Brittany, we're coming to you. Was there any other actor listed on the thing? There is. Would you like? Yes. Would you like the second person listed? Sarah Michelle Geller. Oh, I think I know. The Grudge. The grudge is <laughs> yes, correct. Yes, yes, yes. Now you have the, uh, what is it, 40? 40. It's a 40, so write down the grudge and 40. Right there. Wow, All right. Movie she knew. Right there. This one is between Mr. Wright. I know. And <laughs> <laughs> that was All my right. first thought even before I asked the second actress. But. All right, here we go. Okay. And back to back, I promise they're they're shuffled. We got another wild card. So oh, Brittany, you might have a second wild card here. This is the release year you're trying to guess. Okay. Ooh. Christy Swanson and Luke Perry, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Mm, so this Not is the, the show. Not yeah, this the is show. the oh wait. Mm. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I think I can see the poster in my head. I think fish might be ready yeah, to steal Fish is like, it. give it to me, give it to me. I remember you. I, I, now I'm now I'm now I'm second guessing myself. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh man, I think it's early '90s. I want to say, um, or maybe. Okay, maybe because I think it obviously it came before the show. I would say so, <laughs> but but how 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 soon before the show? Um, I don't think it was an '80s movie. That's funny, Nadia. I was also thinking Amity though. Um, I'm gonna say 
94. Uh, Fish, what do you got? Oh, man. Got me second guessing myself because I, 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 I love this movie. Um, go with your gut. Go with your gut. I'm going to go. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about my age whenever this came out. Oh, so you're, doing, you're doing the Britney method is what we Yeah, I was, I, was a huge fan, I was a huge fan of Beverly Hills 90210 and Luke Perry was on there, obviously. Um, so I'm trying to remember when that show started because he had already been a star ish. So that's how we got Buffy. Um, so that came out and we really do need a timer. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, sorry. Let's... Uh, let me go. Ninety-three. <laughs> Just want to make sure I have it right. All right, Tony. Oh, I don't like this movie. I've seen it once. <laughs> um, I know it was early nineties. Ninety-two. Uh, mm. The year of our good Edward's birth. My birth year, 92. You could add Buffy the Vampire Slayer with a 36%. There we go. All right. Now I need, to go burn my, I need to go burn my poster <laughs> and my DVD. And my you call yourself a fan. You're right. <laughs> All right, Fish. You have a chance here with 87's RoboCop. RoboCop. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh... Ooh. Now, yeah, this is a little more. Is it more cult classic? I know audiences love this week. I love this movie. Um, mm -hmm. Or it's a little too sci fi for critics back in the 80s. Uh, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a chance. I'm going to go between Malkovich and Ferris. Malkovich and Ferris? Ding, ding, ding. Correct. 91. What do we got? 91. 91. Yes. All righty. <laughs> Tony, you have 2008's The Love Guru. <laughs> <laughs> to add to your Mike Myers collection. Below Buffy. Below Buffy. And I thought this was one of the worst movies of all time, but it's still good with the 13. Yep, there you go. <laughs> so he, he took that one? He took that one. Took that one, wow. Is that the uh, Mike, Mike Myers? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, okay, I've never seen it. Okay. All right, James. Following up that one, 2011's Jack and Jill. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Sandler. Yeah. The Sandman. Now, see, this is a perfect example. If we were doing the cast thing, I would have picked Al Pacino. But they, for some reason, put Katie Holmes. So, I don't know. I'm going to say it's below Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Below Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. By a significant amount. 3%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A whopping three. So now what's that total there? Is that, what is that? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, <gasps> ten. Ten. Oh, oh, you won the game, my friend. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> With Jack and Jill, you won the game. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, Holland Oates said it per uh, perfect here. J Jane wins a copy of Jack and Jill. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> well, 4K, no doubt, right? 4K? <laughs> With Dolby so. Vision? <laughs> What that means, James, <laughs> is make sure your schedule in June is 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 available because you're coming okay. back from the finals, my friend. All right. So there we go. That takes round three, and what? Uh -huh. That's an hour and a half. We uh, ran that one too. Congrats, James. Dell says. Laren says. Congrats, Thanks. James. Thank you. It's this was game. a great game. This was a really solid, close knit game right here. Yeah, Let's take a look board. at this, this board again. Look at this. Oh man. Look at that. Mm. Wow. 
We Me got and- some real winners, and then we have Jack and Jill. We have <laughs> Jack and Jill. So be proud of your work, everybody. Seriously, you're all very knowledgeable when it comes to judging Rotten Tomatoes scores. <laughs> very close. <laughs> Um, so now what we're going to do is quickly go around and, uh, just tell everybody what you're doing, what you have coming up, and then we're going to let Ian go to bed. So, uh, Ian, we'll kickstart you. What do you got coming up in your life? Well, I'm just finishing a documentary we talked about at the beginning. Um, I've written a book about Spielberg as well. So that's coming up in the autumn. And I've got a book about Mad Max coming out in June. So it's been very busy, but that's, that's what's happening. So I'm going to take a long rest after the last time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And yes, please go support Aliens Expanded. Again, it is linked down below. Uh, check out the tiers. Pick up what you want. <clears throat> Blu-ray, I suggest. So at least, uh, at least pick it up. So thank yeah, you so much, Ian. You. Love, love having you on. It's 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 always an honor. Uh, great pleasure. Thanks, guys. Really good fun. Yes, mm-hmm. Brittany. What do you got coming up? Um. So yeah, we're gonna be wrapping up and finishing our Titanic scene by scene podcast that we've been working on for five years, uh, with a two year hiatus in there. So really, only three years. Uh, but we are finally wrapping that up probably next month, which is feeling just very, very excited to be done. Very sad to be done, but we're excited to be moving on to. Uh, an entirely new podcasting venture uh, that I don't think we're so ready to share all the details about yet, but it should be something that uh, any of our fellow younger millennial listeners should probably enjoy. So, Ooh, all right. Is there anything in your background that's a spoiler? Um, <laughs> I'm looking at that wanted poster. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider Man. Nice. Uh, school rock. I mean, kind of, but no. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, I mean, it's like everything back here falls between what we right. will be what we will be talking about. So. Oh, alrighty. I love it. Always, seriously, a pleasure and an honor to have you on as well. You're <laughs> incredibly knowledgeable, specifically when it comes to that beautiful Titanic poster behind you. There. <laughs> uh, so that's Brittany. Thank you, Fish. What do we got? Oh, uh, well, thank you very much for having me. First of all, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I need to bone up apparently on my Rotten Tomatoes, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I had a great time. Uh, everybody was awesome. Um, I really don't have a whole lot coming up on my channel. I have a few um, thumbnails that I have made up that I need to start working on the content for those. But uh, it's part of my Have You Heard Of series. I do have a couple of um, movies in that. So check out the channel, Fish the Film Collector. I have um, Hunts Halls. And then, like I said, uh, a couple movie reviews. And then Have You Heard Of. So please come check those out. So yeah. thanks for having me. Absolutely, Fish. Would love to have you back, as always. You're, you're, yeah, no, you're, I'd love to join. You're, you're, you're always a... a what, what am I trying to say? You're a, a burst of energy to the, to the show. I love it so much. Thank you. Um, Tony, what do you got coming up? Um, a whole lot of nothing. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't really have anything fully planned for my channel right now. I guess I'll have a couple hunts here and there. Um, yeah, and, I'm not really and an too aliens much. watch along. <laughs> aliens. If I can get a date to reschedule it, yes, I will be doing that eventually. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Other than that, it's just uh, I'll be on other people's channels. I'll be on Bob's Blu-ray's channel at the end of the month. Uh, All right. It's about it. Yeah. All right. And we'll be seeing you in October for H H N. Yes. Uh, love having you on dude as always. And yeah, that was fun. Uh, finally our winner for the night, Mr. James. Well, thanks again for having me. And I had a blast, you know, Eddie and Haley just had a great time and just fun meeting everybody. So this is really a fun game. And I guess on my channel, I just got, you know, more criterion collection release, um, you know, reviews coming up, going to be reviewing this interesting set here, Chantal Ackerman's Masterpieces. So I'll be talking about that here pretty soon on the channel. And and I think next Friday, Arrow Video is uh, revealing their July announcements. Uh, so I'll be, you know, covering that. And then got a uh, director spotlight series entry coming up uh, for this director, El Moldovar. Uh, so Taste of Pedro El Moldovar films coming up before the end of the month. So 
got some more Criterion content coming uh, this month and, you know, as we continue through the year. So, but again, just had a great time. This is a really cool game and uh, it was good stuff. Yes. And I don't think you, uh, I don't think we gave you one Criterion title tonight, did we? <laughs> That's right. Not <laughs> I think I saw a comment from Dell about that. <laughs> I'm in the so, chat. And, and somehow you still won. So there you go. You're not just the Criterion guy, and we love having you on as always. Uh, it's, it's always a blast. You always make me feel very uneducated when it comes to movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will probably never live. I'll probably never live down not guessing Toy Story. <laughs> yep, Toy Story will haunt you. Uh, just a couple last comments. Horror and more. This was fun. Good job, everyone. Or congrats, James. See y'all for Rotten Redemption. Coming for that tomato crown. Yes, you are. Uh, Laren, thank you. FOS, see you soon. Fun as always. Great to see everyone on the panel tonight. Uh, everyone saying have a great night. Absolutely. Right back at everybody. And Cody bet his house and college tuition on fish. Yep, he bet his house and college tuition <laughs> on fish. Oh, hey, no, he, he's oh, homeless and uneducated now. So what's going on? There you go. <laughs> uh, but everybody in the panel, just stick around. We'll do a formal goodbye, but I'm just going to end the stream now. Thank you for tuning in for round three. We'll be back next month for Rotten Redemption, giving uh, four players another chance at the finals. And until then, we'll be back at some point. Keep being fans of something.